Center. Oh, Rambro. Wait, wait, Rambros isn't even in. Rambros coming in with an answer here. Oh, Rambros is coming Two, in. Two, three, five, eight grams. That is not correct. That is not correct. Wow, I was talking to you. I was looking at Ty, and I got to admit, I, I didn't even look over at Rambros. Two, three, five, eight grams is not correct. Not correct. So we're going to let these guys keep working, try to figure out what they're missing, uh, what, they, what they need to do. Yeah, I, well, I've never heard it mentioned since we last did it in the tournament, so I just forgot it was about its existence. But yeah, it was Ty last year with the Libra. He uses Inventor at home and Libra at work. That's an interesting combination. So I guess his employer is uh, maybe insisting on a Libra, but he, maybe he prefers Inventor. I don't know. But then it would be it's interesting that he chooses to use a Libra in the contest uh, rather than Inventor. Yeah, so, um, it's pretty cool. We got a couple of people in the Two Tall Toby community, uh, Ty and Ex Machina, who are really heavy Alibre users. And so it's great to see them. At, and both have contributed a lot of video content as well. You can see a lot of Alibre speed runs and leaderboard runs on the channel. So it's really cool to see, you know, you know how it is when you get into one system and you really learn it. You know, it's like I said earlier, it's more about the wizard than the wand. And so we'll, we'll put that to the test here today because he's number 14 seed against number six seed. This is going to be kind of a Cinderella story. Yeah, I've just been corrected as well. It was the other way around. I said a Libra at work, inventor at home. It's inventor at work, a Libra at work. Yeah. Yep. yep. All right, guys. Well, here we go. Let's see what ends up happening here in this match between Rambros from India using Fusion 360 and Ty from Turkey and also from Australia using a Libre. Here we go. This CAD battle begins in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in XXXX grams? The tolerance on this one is plus or minus two grams. It's only a tier three part, so not a super complex part, but that doesn't mean it's easy necessarily. A tier three part here. Both of our runners are grabbing a screen capture. Everyone at home is grabbing a screen capture, and they are both jumping into their CAD systems. We see Rambros on the left running Fusion 360. We see Ty on the right running a Libre. Let's see how they handle this challenge. I'm not going to lie, Toby, I think this is probably one of the simpler ones of the tournament, well, from this this day so far. Uh, I can see multiple ways you can start this one. You can do this with a revolver, you can do this with an extrusion, multiple different ways to start it. Unless you've got your usual gotcha in here. I think this one might be wrapped up pretty quickly. Yep, we might see this one, you know, like you said, we might see this one wrapped up pretty quickly, but it's still going to require, you know, several features. Even the tier three models require, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten different features when it's all said and done, if you're counting the sketches. So, you know, none of these models are going to be done with just one sketch and extrude it like the whole no. V brick. Uh, everybody wishes they could get the holy brick in the competition, but it's not going to happen. These are going to be a little bit more complicated during the tournament. Yeah, both guys have started off using the, the same approach, which is what I would have done as well. I would have started off modeling that side profile and then worked from there. Yeah. So was what I was going to say, really. Yeah, it's usually something where when we're in 3D CAD and we're decide deciding on the origin and we're deciding on that starting profile, it's kind of based on uh, where a lot of the dimensions are shown in the drawing. That can help you figure out where the origin should be. Sometimes it's where the, how the part is going to be used functionally. That could help you figure out where the uh, origin and where the first sketch should be. And I think it's really telling to see these two experts both starting with the same sketch on the same plane. Yeah. Yeah, I think the or this is maybe one of the parts where the origin is less important than the others. You you've probably got one line of symmetry to work with here, and that's about it. So you, you still need to worry about the origin a little bit, but not as much as other parts. But yeah. yeah, I think if I was in this competition doing this, I think I'd know quite quickly what approach, what road I'm going to go down with this one. It looks like both these guys have got it. I've got it right, but it looks it looks like Rambros is having an absolute nightmare with his sketch. <laughs> I was going to ask about going. that. Is that what's happening there? Those errors at the bottom are saying like, hey, there's something wrong with the sketch. Yeah, yeah. I think he's having an absolute constraint nightmare with that. So uh, he's going to have to try and sort that out. But of course, we could, like, it's, uh, yeah, you'll yeah. sort it out. Yep. Yeah. So this is one of these models that like, I, I personally hate when I get a model like this where it's got two arcs, but the arcs are not concentric. It always makes me... Feel like I'm going crazy when I'm trying to constrain it down, um, but it looks like Ty was able to get that constrained down. It's interesting to see the sketch colors there in a Libre, and there we can see on a Libre. That's again, that's a, a product you can purchase one time and you have it for life. Kind of taking a different approach to all the cloud-based modelers that are out there that are more of like a SAS model, um, and you can see that it's a it's a fully capable 3D modeler. And uh, I really like the interface. I got to give a shout out to a Libre to the interface. Um, I've seen some other uh, less expensive or, or free CAD modelers out there that the interface, I haven't been nearly as impressed
impressed with, but uh, definitely cool to see a Libre and, and see it in action here. It looks heavily inspired by Inventor, I'm not going to lie. I mean, there is very clear similarities between most CAD programs, but the way the ribbon bar spaced out, the icons are very similar to Inventor. The color scheme's a little bit different. Inventor's got like a like an amber and blue sort of scheme. This one's pink and green. Mm -hmm. uh, but the way the browser is structured, the icons, even the, even the fonts, it's very similar to Inventor. So we see, I, I, I'm sure you've been in this spot that Rambros is in right now, where you just like cannot get that first sketch to lock down and it keeps throwing errors. It could be so frustrating. Yeah, I think what, what it looked like in his first attempt is the old CAD tool where it like automatically spawns off a tangent tangent arc from a line. And I think he ended up over constraining uh, one of his arcs in the mm. tangent, which just completely goosed him. Yeah, it looked almost like he did a full restart there. Is that right? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he just yeah. didn't start again. Full restart. So we'll see if that if that allows Ty to widen the gap enough to pull ahead here. But uh, it's not over till it's over. And uh, certainly we've seen quite a few Fusion 360 users go from, you know, seeming to only be on the first feature to all of a sudden having a completed model. And so uh, if I was if I was Ty, I would not be getting too comfortable. I'd still be you know, sticking to best practices and moving ahead on this model. Yeah, it looks like Rambos as well is trying to put quite a lot into that sketch. So he's going for the more sort of skeletal sketch approach, but we'll see how that works. And that, that might be what, you, what you're saying about how like the model suddenly just populates and flowers into this finished thing, because uh, they have got quite a lot in one sketch, but uh, maybe he's got a direction and he knows where he's going. Yep, yep. And it looks like even though that sketch has that extra geometry that uh, Rambros using Fusion was able to just pick a region of that sketch. Is that correct? In Fusion, you can do that? Uh, yeah, you can, yeah. Yeah, in Vendor and Fusion, yeah, if you've got a sketch, you can have multiple different closed profiles. So it's almost like if you if you had a, a, a board and you would have, or like a, a box, you would have filled water in it. If there was any partition lines where the water would sort of stop, that's how the sketch works. So you can pick different okay. regions within the sketch. Once you're finished with the sketch as well, you can then reuse it and reuse the other regions that were there. Um, downsides to that, but it's possible to do it. And we see here that on the right, it looks like Ty is using an offset face. Also a, uh, a very uh, crowd favorite there. Shout out to Ty there if you guys want to put a move face or an offset face there in the chat. Not quite a delete face, but definitely gets an honorable mention there doing an offset face to blast out that lower section. Uh, sometimes when I see these guys doing this, I think maybe they're doing it as a shout out. And there we see another shout out from Ty. Wow, this one is like a pure meme model here. Ty doing uh, what we call the Ivan exploit, which means that when he was locating those holes along that uh, tombstone, along those lugs that were sticking out, he didn't bother centering those holes because he recognized that the wall thickness of those lugs is parallel. And so it doesn't matter where he puts the holes, they're going to be removing the same amount of material. Uh, so he's going to end up with the correct mass regardless of where they're located. And we call that the Ivan exploit when you have two parallel faces and, and you're cutting through those parallel faces with multiple holes. It really doesn't matter where the holes are because you're always going to remove the same amount of material. So huge shout out to Ty here for memeing it up on this model. I did. I was wondering what the Ivan... I remember you referencing the Ivan exploit last year and I, I forgot what it was. But yeah, that's, that is a thing. Yeah, if you just put a two, two holes anywhere in a face, doesn't matter where they are, still removing the same amount of mass. Yep, we only look for the mass. So whatever they type in, as far as the mass goes, that's what we take. And and we've seen people misclick. We've seen people, you know, copy the, the wrong thing. We saw one time somebody copied the volume instead of the mass and they put that in the chat. That counts as one of your wrong answers, you know. The, you could the, potentially resolve that by having the criteria as the, um, the sort of center gravity of the the model. But then, the but then the origin would have to be defined. Mm. Would it? Because where's the center? Oh, Rambro. Wait, wait. Rambros isn't even in. Rambros coming in with an answer here. Oh, Rambros has come in. Two, yeah. three, five, eight grams. That is not correct. That is not correct. Wow, I was talking to you, I was looking at Ty, and I gotta admit, I, I didn't even look over at Rambros. Two, three, five, eight grams is not correct. Not correct. So we're gonna let these guys keep working, try to figure out what they're missing, uh, what they what they need to do. But wow, I, I let myself get a little distracted from the action there. And Rambros just completely came through with an answer there, really unexpected and really, really impressive. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, Aaron's this in chat is gonna be close. Look at these guys. Legendary. They're both looking at the mask. Tayfun coming in with an answer. Two, four, zero, eight grams. Rambros coming in right behind him. Two, two, six, four grams. Two, four, zero, eight grams is correct. And that's going to give the points to Tayfun. But wow, huge shout out to Rambros. 
coming from behind there, was not expecting that at all. Totally looked away, got entangled in our conversation about the Ivan exploit, and uh, <laughs> wow, I almost totally missed it. So, great job there to Ty. Congratulations, earning that first point. You do have to win two points to move on uh, in, this, uh, in this tournament. Great discussion there of the Ivan exploit. You can see on Ty's screen that those holes are all lopsided. Uh, certainly that would not fly in engineering, but um, Yes, 2408 is correct, and that first point is going to go to Ty coming in with that 2408. Congratulations. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, so, so uh, yeah, I mean, the, we do have what we call anti Ivan exploits, and an anti Ivan exploit would be like on this model, we would add a, a curved face along the bottom or a drafted face along the bottom so that as you mislocate those holes, you would be adding material. Basically, you just make those, those faces so they're not parallel. Uh, but, um, you know, you should be see those in slightly higher tier models. Yeah. Rambrose, yeah. Rambrose in the chat says, totally